We're about to compute arc length of a parameterized curve. Now the good news about arc length, you just follow the formula and that's pretty much all there is to it. You do need to get the x prime squared plus y prime squared. All of that in the square root dt from t1 to t2. So that's the arc length. All right, we have an x one third t cubed, so x prime is t squared, y is one half t squared, so y prime is just t. And we're going from eight to nine in the t values. So our integral goes from eight to nine. Square root x prime is t squared squared plus y prime is t squared dt. And we can square the squared, and that's t to the fourth, or maybe better off if we write it as factoring out the t squared. And then the t squared can come out as just a regular t. t is positive, so I don't have to worry about it coming out as the absolute value of t. So I know tangent squared plus 1 is secant squared, so you're going to use a trig substitution here. And go ahead and finish this off.